Minecraft World Records. They're fun, impressive, and really display what the Minecraft community is capable of. You know what's not fun or impressive? Guinness, or specifically their section on Minecraft World Records. Now, I've made videos in the past discussing Minecraft World Records and learned from those that Guinness World Records for Minecraft are either severely outdated or are just downright stupid. And contrary to this statement, under every single record on their website, they do not keep the records updated. In fact, most records have been paid for to be there. You see, when submitting a world record to Guinness, you either have the normal option where they will supposedly process it and reply within 12 weeks, or you have the priority application, which will give you a response in five working days. But the priority application costs 800 US dollars. And according to IBX Toycat, who attempted to submit a standard application for a Minecraft world record in 2017, he never got a response over two years later. So if it isn't clear already, Guinness is well pay to win, and as such they have many questionable or downright stupid records on their website. Now, at first I was going to make a video talking about how stupid the records are, but then I thought to myself, hang on, if I go ahead and beat some of them, that will really display how bad and outdated they are. And I get to say I'm a Minecraft world record holder in the process. It's a win-win really. So without further ado, let's go beat some records. Alright, let's start off with something short and sweet. The fastest time to make and eat 3 cakes in Minecraft is a record which was broken relatively recently with a time of 1 minute and 9 seconds. Supposedly, the record breaker Bodhi has wanted to achieve a world record ever since 2016 and he attempted the record to prove to himself that if he put enough effort into making his dreams come true, anything is possible. How wholesome. Anyways, let's go obliterate this record. As you can see, I've got all the materials to make three cakes, and have organized them in a highly efficient manner. Some decent crafting skills here. I should mention that majority of my record attempts in this video could be easily improved. The whole point was to prove how bad the records are by beating them without even spending 5 minutes practicing. And there we go, a phenomenal time of 14.8 seconds. Now, after my extremely intense record attempt, I realized I could use the green book thing to speed up the process even more. I don't know if this is allowed, but I decided to do it anyways and managed to get the world's first sub 10 seconds. Take that speedrunners. But on to the next record now. This record is actually one of the more interesting world records on the site. Broken almost 10 years ago now, the world record for smallest Minecraft house is currently held by GTFO Creepers. Now, for some reason, Guinness didn't even provide a screenshot of what the house looked like, but going off the description kind of helps us. Apparently, the record-breaking house was four blocks high with two additional blocks to the side and contained a bed, furnace, crafting box, and storage chest. I'm assuming the original record looks something like this. Now, fortunately the game has come a long way since this record was set, and in 1.14 you can now go into crawl mode, making you only one block tall. And with this mechanic I created this masterpiece. A very cozy house with all the amenities immediately accessible. And not only that, but there is so much room for customization. We have plenty of extra blocks to work with here, as well as having a top and side entrance. And even better, look at this nice view you get through the gaps in the chest. Perfect! Next record. Next up we have the fastest time to build a 2 block piston door, with a current time of 11.53 seconds. But before we do that, how about you click that red button and open the piston door to my heart by subscribing. It really makes my day. Anyways, the original record breaker broke the record to gain recognition and to make his family proud. I'm breaking this record to prove how stupid it is. Sorry man. Anyways, once again Guinness failed to provide even a basic screenshot, although there was a nice family picture here, so I'm just going to assume it's a 2 by one door like this. And here's my attempt. As you can see, this was a really solid performance, with a time of only 3.8 seconds. If anybody manages to get a sub 3 second run, at me on Twitter. Our next record today is building the tallest staircase in one minute. Now, originally this record was held by professional Minecrafter and well-renowned elite gamer Ali A, who managed to build a jaw-dropping 17 block tall staircase in one minute. Oh Seven, my gosh. After that intense world record by Ali A. Oh my days, this is so intense, holy cow. I was incredibly skeptical that anybody could beat it, as Ali A executed this run perfectly using his trademark flying technique. I'm gonna use the flying technique here. A technique so powerful and ancient that it has been passed down through generations of Ali A's family. So you can imagine how shocked I was when I saw the new record was 62 blocks. <laughs> On a side note, the guy who beat the record is actually the same guy who held the three cakes record. So sorry to ruin your day buddy, but I guess we are beating two of your records now. 
Unfortunately, as it turns out, I was not skilled enough to use the sacred flying technique, so I decided to jump pillar instead. Now, initially I couldn't actually beat the record, but then I realized that the record was beaten in bedrock mode, where they have this little mechanic allowing you to place blocks without needing to shift. And after getting the hang of it, well, kind of anyways, I was able to beat the record by one block exactly, with a record of 63 blocks. On to the next record now. This one is for the most snow golems built in one minute, currently held by Rohin Bajaj with a total of 78 golems. Supposedly he practiced really hard in order to achieve this, so it must be quite challenging. Anyways, this area here marked out by the gold blocks has 100 blocks inside, so there's space for 100 potential snow golems. We are only going to build 80 for this record, so we don't need the last two rows. And well, what can I say? It was a pretty easy record to beat. Even with a few mistakes, I still got it quite comfortably. And since we're on the snow golem topic, let's also beat the world record for fastest time to build 100 snow golems, which is currently 1 minute and 46 seconds. I managed to build 80 snow golems in under a minute, so this should be easy. Spoiler alert, it was, and even though I accidentally reset the timer at the end, as you can see, I got a very comfortable time of 1 minute and 11 seconds. If there was a world record for fastest time to beat two world records, then it should go straight to me. Up next, we have the world record for longest tunnel made in creative mode. Now, when I initially heard of this record, I thought somebody had built a legitimate tunnel in creative mode, as the record was 300,000 blocks, which took 2 hours and 50 minutes. I thought that was actually quite impressive, until I realized that the record was achieved using commands. So let's quickly beat this one, shall we? Here's the plan. Since commands are allowed, I'm going to be using the slash TP commands and world edit. I'm going to start at 0, 0, make a selection, teleport 310,000 blocks out, and make the second selection, replacing it with air. Easy, right? Not exactly. As it turns out, making massive selections with World Edit kind of crashes the game. But that didn't stop me. I downloaded a better version of World Edit, allocated 16 gigabytes of RAM to Minecraft, and tried again. But this time, it just didn't work. The game didn't crash, but the World Edit wasn't made. As it turns out, you can only really make around 40,000 block selections, from my testing at least. So I did multiple world edits of 20,000 block distance, and with a bit of lag and a couple game restarts, I managed to do it in about 10 to 15 minutes, creating a 310,000 block long tunnel. Alright, we got another cake record now. This time it's for the fastest time to make and display 10 cakes. Now, I once again easily beat this record on my first go, but because you already did a cake record and it's boring, I decided to have a little fun with it. The current record is over 2 minutes, so I decided to go onto my new SMP server and randomly pick 3 players, getting them to compete to see who could craft and place 10 cakes the quickest, promising the winner a free donor rank. Some people also wanted to spectate, so I made a little box out of barrier blocks and let players teleport. And well, this was a bad idea. I thought I secured the area all good, but as it turns out, uh, not so much. Alright, take two now, and this time with a proper protected area. And after an intense battle between two of the participants, I think this guy forgot the crafting recipe, Dog Steve came out on top with a time of 24.5 seconds, with Jacko 100 just milliseconds behind. Well played to him. He was then brutally murdered by Etoast, who was understandably not happy with the result. The world record for most wood collected in 3 minutes. Oddly specific, but alright. Set by our good friend Rohin Bajaj again, who seems to have a knack for Minecraft world records. Even more surprising is that once again, this was a record held by Ali A, who shocked the world with his monumental, error-defining performance in 2015, collecting 78 logs. And this time he didn't even use the sacrilegious flying technique, so I'm absolutely stunned that somebody managed to beat him. The current record is 104 blocks of wood total. I'm done. Two, I'm done. one, stop. So let's beat it, shall we? As you already saw, I got a good spawn, spawning near a village and a dark oak forest. Using the cobblestone from one of the village houses, I made a stone axe and got to work. This was actually a really good spawn because dark oak trees are perfect for this record with their four block wide trunks, allowing you to collect lots of wood from few trees. I managed to get 127 wood logs in total, beating the record comfortably. Probably the most stupid record on here, the fastest time to climb to the top of the cliffside village as well. Interesting. The record time is currently 1 minute and 19 seconds. But here's the thing. There's no seed, no world save or anything. Just some random low quality screenshot of a cliffside village. I tried doing some Google searches to see if there was anything else, but to no avail. So instead, I found this really cool seed which had an even bigger cliffside village and had some really cool terrain and village generation. My goal was to start at the bottom down here, where the village began, and scale the mountain up to this house here. Judging the villages side by side, and you can clearly see that mine is much taller, but whatever. 
Oh, and to make it even harder, I'm not going to use this massive water stream in the middle to cheat. I'll only use the other smaller water streams where there's no other method up. And even after choking pretty badly here on the block clutch, I still managed to beat the record with a time of one minute, which could have easily been improved. Final record for today and we are back to houses now with the record for fastest time to build a house. Guinness once again has failed to provide even a screenshot of the house built in the record attempt and doesn't feature any guidelines on what size or what blocks the house needs to be made from, only the world record time which was 2 minutes and 41 seconds. But if you recall earlier, we broke the record for smallest house and since Guinness considers this a house, that means it should be perfectly fine to build this for our record attempt. And there we have it, another record smashed in 7.6 seconds, another sub 10 10 second run. Alright guys, I think it's time to hang up the keyboard and put away the mouse, as after beating 11 Minecraft records in a row, I am exhausted and I think it's time to retire. It's hard being the best. But on a serious note now, I don't mean any hate to anybody who currently holds a Minecraft world record. I just wanted to display how bad Guinness has become over the past few years, prioritizing money over actual competitive integrity. It just rubs me wrong, as some people put so much effort into obtaining a world record, dedicating hundreds of hours and putting their own blood, sweat and tears into it. So when Guinness tarnishes the name of world records in general by failing to maintain competitive integrity, it's very upsetting. I hope you enjoyed the video though. Let me know in the comments if you like this format, as it's slightly different to what I normally do. I had a lot of fun editing it, that's for sure. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and join the Discord. Links are always in the description. Thank you all so much for watching.